All eyes are on Ukraine right now. People wondering how a conflict in Europe can impact the local economy. And there have been many developments today. So here is the latest. The U.S. believes Russia has launched more than 160 missiles, most of which short-range ballistic missiles. Meanwhile, Ukraine reclaiming an airport at the edge of Ukraine's capital, ordering general mobilization of reserve soldiers. Now, this afternoon, ABC News reported the Chernobyl nuclear power station, which is just 60 miles from the Ukrainian capital, was captured by Russia, and Russia claiming it has destroyed now more than 70 Ukrainian military facilities. Tonight, Six on Your Side's Blake Stevens finds out how Russia's invasion into a country more than 5,000 miles away can impact your wallet right here at home. Blake. A conflict that has a global security expert at UT's Baker Center on high alert. So this is a pretty significant situation here. This is not like another war in a faraway land. This is Europe. This is a major power, Russia, which has been a rival of the United States and, and NATO for 70 years. Krista Wiegand explains that significant situation could have a significant impact in places you might or might not expect. And a lot of people don't realize how much wheat we uh, import from Russia. So we'll see increases in bread prices. They also export to the U.S. minerals, metals, uh, machinery that are used in American factories to make American goods. So there are all sorts of uh, ramifications in the economy that we're not necessarily going to see firsthand. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle support strong sanctions against Russia. Political scientist Gary Uzoni explains those sanctions are meant to cost Russia, but will also cost the countries imposing them. How long are they willing uh, to keep Russia out of these financial markets? That's going to ultimately influence uh, whether or not these sanctions uh, are going to, to change the direction of Russian policy here. And the length of those sanctions will also determine the impact on the global stock market and the price at the pump. I know this is hard and that Americans are already hurting. I will do everything in my power to limit the pain the American people are feeling at the gas pump. This is critical to me. But this aggression cannot go unanswered. If it did, the consequences for America would be much worse. America stands up to bullies. We stand up for freedom. And uh, Dr. Wiegand also says she would not be surprised if local National Guard troops are deployed to that region soon. The U.S. military is not physically in this fight, but many troops are in Poland right now helping other NATO countries and Ukrainian refugees. Elizabeth. Blake, thank you. Meanwhile, President Biden is announcing 7,000 more U.S. troops will be deployed to Europe to help NATO allies, something praised by Representative Chuck Fleischman. And locally, we asked if any members of the 134th Air Refueling Wing would be deployed overseas. Their answer was the unit has not been notified of any imminent mobilization at this time, but we are told that if called upon to serve, the 134th will answer that call. Of course, the situation in Ukraine is changing by the minute. We will continue to bring you updates right here on air, as well as on our website, WATE.com. And also, don't forget this. Don't forget to download our free news app so you can monitor the latest news out of Ukraine, even when you are away from your TV.